What's going on everybody? Welcome to my channel and today I'm going to be reviewing the Osprey Talon 22 Day Pack. So this bag comes in two different sizes and five different colors. Right here I have the Eclipse Gray Bag in a large slash extra large. Taking a look here on the website, these are the five colors it comes in. Cosmic Red, Eclipse Gray, Stealth Black, ceramic blue as well as lemon green which is not available at the moment the two sizes are small medium and a large extra large now i will say that the small medium bag is actually only a 20 liter bag whereas the large slash extra large is 22 liters okay so first thing to mention is that this bag is not waterproof it's water resistant, but if you wanted it to be fully waterproof, you would need to add a rain cover. These are sold separately. Looking at the front of the bag here, first there's the lid lock helmet attachment. So to use this system here, you would just slide this piece of plastic through the frame of the helmet, and then it would open, looking like that, on the top of your helmet, and it would stay on here. In order to tighten that, you're going to want to open the main pouch here. Looking at the inside of the helmet lock, there's this little clip system. If you squeeze this, you can then pull the strap all the way tight, bringing the helmet tight against the bag so it won't fall off. Same thing to put the helmet on. Take the clip, loosen this strap all the way, and now this helmet lock system will be able to pull out with lots of room to add your helmet in there. Now that we have the main pouch open, we'll take a look in here. So it's a pretty big pouch. Just one big opening with this separate pouch on the top. The zipper's open. It's mesh and it has a hook on the top. You can hold your keys or anything you decide to put there. It's pretty good for organization. This main pouch here has two zippers. Both zippers have this little plastic hoop, so it's easy to pull, easy to find. Should last a long time. And then from the top here, you can see, peeling this weather strip back, that there's another zipper with a smaller pouch. See my hand is completely in this pouch here, pulling it inside out to show the size. It's roughly that big. So you could add a couple more items up here. And then behind that, again, there's another opening. And this is for a water bladder or hydration. So if I turn the bag around here, you can see it's got the tag, and you can fit a water bladder in there nicely. It goes all the way down through the bag. Now here on the back side, here's the back panel with these foam ridges along it, and a mesh screen here over the top, which is the system they call Airscape. And so with this Airscape, it's made so this won't be so hot on your back. It'll allow some airflow to come through. Looking at the straps here, they're also padded. The left strap has two loops that could be used for accessories. And the right strap has the same two loops, as well as this opening here. It's a little pouch. It's again like a little mesh type of material. Buckles closed, would be perfect to put a multi-tool, pocket knife, or anything that you want quick access to. Now looking here at the bottom, these two side pieces here will go across the waist. They both have a zipper pouch on them. So again, if you want something for quick access, these are a little bit bigger, so these ones could actually fit your cell phone, or a first aid kit, camera gear. Anything that you want quick access to, again, fit right there. Right here, also on the, I 
called it the right strap, but I guess when you're wearing the bag, it'll be the left strap. We have this here accessory attachment. It's perfect for hiking poles. So if you fit your hiking pole through here, then you can pinch this, pull it tight, and that'll hold onto it there. Now looking around the back side of the backpack, there's this plastic loop here. So if you have your hiking pole uh, attached right here from the top, you could feed it through this accessory loop over here in the back to keep it out of the way to the back of the bag. And this could be used for any sort of accessories that you think would fit here. It's got the little picture here for hiking poles or trekking poles, but this could be used for more than just that. So, okay, so that was the main compartment, the helmet lock. Now, also, there's a buckle here on the front for this front opening. It's just a very light, thin mesh uh, opening here. And it could be used to put, well, anything you'd like, but I think it would be great to put maybe dirty clothes or anything that you don't want to be in the rest of the bag could be separated out here in the front. It's got a little bit of airflow. You don't have to get the rest of your bag dirty. There's some ventilation here on the bottom for that pouch. And on the side, you've got similar pouches. Again, comes with a strap, used for water bottles. Straps in. Same thing on the other side. Opening here, straps there. So those three, pretty similar material. So looking at the top of the bag here, we've got the handle loop with the Osprey logo. Inside of this hydration pack, there's a small buckle here. It could be used to hold the water bladder. And yeah, personally I chose to go with the gray one because I like the dark neutral colors. But I didn't really want to get the black one because that would attract the most heat in the sun. And I didn't want everything inside of my bag to start getting warm. So I thought the gray was perfect. Some accessories that could be purchased separately for this bag would be the water bladder hydration pouch. It would fit in there. As well as the rain guard cover, cover the whole bag in case of rain. So looking at this side here. One thing I actually just noticed is that this chest buckle actually has a zip, or sorry, a whistle built right into it. So that's a pretty cool feature to have the whistle easily accessible. Works pretty good. Seems a good quality. Nice added feature. Also on the front of the bag, there's another little accessory holder right here. So if you were to take this little strap part of the clip and pull that, that'll allow you to pull this tight or loose and you could feed any accessory you want to hang off of your bag right through there. Okay, so overall I think this is like a perfect pack for day trips or shorter trips. I think if you wanted to do a couple days, if you wanted to pack maybe a sleeping bag, sleeping pad, lots of clothes, all the things that you might need for a multi-day hike and then it might be a little bit small but for day trips or maybe an overnighter with a hammock I think it's a perfect size bag it's great quality lots of features very comfortable and so yeah that's a quick little review of the Osprey Talon 22 day bag next I'm going to be filling it up with all my hiking equipment and if you're interested in which equipment I like to use, what are my favorites for a hike or an overnight or camping, then subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be uploading a video of that as well. And thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a good day. Bye.